We've been mooch talking in our friend's driveway for the past week, working hard on RV projects and waiting for our title to arrive so we can cross the border to Mexico. We love our friends and their adorable son, but the mountains are calling. Plan is to drive two hours east of San Diego to a lesser known state park in California called Anza Borrego. This desert landscape is one of the hottest and driest in the US, and in our opinion, is one of the most underrated parks in California. This is insane. Join us this week as we explore the desert's wild and diverse landscape. Absolutely stunning. Get in touch with this area's unique history. This is so rad. It's like stepping back in time. And try off-roading for the first time. Where are we gonna fall? I feel like crying, I'm not gonna lie. Good morning. Happy New Year's. We are leaving San Diego today. Let's go. All right, Gordita. She's a wide girl. Don't want to run over their lights either. Good. First things first, we are going to grab some food. If you're in San Diego, you have to get a California burrito. It's originated here in San Diego. Yeah. It's like an asada steak burrito filled with french fries. And cheese and sour cream. <laughs> Just down the street from Scott McHale's house is Don Pancho's. We are grabbing some grub. Did you get the good? <sighs> These are ridiculously huge burritos. A California burrito is one of them things that you eat immediately once it gets handed to you from the window. First time we had it, I was not impressed, but it was because we got it to go and waited like 20 minutes before we got to eat it. You might be having the first time, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next stop, propane. stop for the day is a grocery store. We're gonna be boondocking out in the desert for a few days so we wanna make sure we are fully stocked up. Salt pepper, that's a good one. That onion's gonna fall. We almost forgot to get water. We are completely out, and I think our water filtration system needs to be replaced on the RV because our water has been kind of gross lately. So we're just filling up at one of the water stations. This is a joke. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Stop. Finally! Sierra. Might as well have drilled the well myself. Oh wow, look at you go. Yep. Errands are done. Let's go. Anyone else do this when it's cold outside? We need to read the signs from the car. From this overlook at an elevation of 2,300 feet, the immense size of the Anza Borrego Desert State Park fills the mind and eye. Travelers search the descriptive words like spectacular, stark, immense, beautiful and harsh, breathtaking. <laughs> Onward. This is a windy road. Toy hauler guys are no joke. They have nerves of steel when it comes to the dragon trailers around these mountain roads. That ain't me. We tried that with the fifth wheel the first year and uh, nah. We made it to our campground for the evening. We're staying at the Palm Desert Oasis. $45 for full hookups. They also have dry camping for, I think, $35. But one really cool thing, so you can go anywhere throughout the park, and if you're on a dirt road, at least one car distance off from the main highway, you can free camp. So since we're arriving a little bit late tonight, we just thought it'd be easier to hook up, but our tanks are also full, so I'm glad we're kind of getting to dump. And like, we have nothing to set up. We have right, that. Throw this thing out and our Star Lake. We're home. Actually, we still have electricity and water. And I, oh yeah, we gotta fill 50 gallons. Even though we didn't eat that long ago, we are starving, so we're gonna make some dinner. Making the cauliflower tacos, making the cauliflower tacos. <laughs> we are making cauliflower tacos with our grain-free taco shells, CSA, represent. We're gonna do buffalo, so I'm gonna make some buffalo sauce with some extra salsa we have left over. Lots of butter and garlic. I add that sauce to the cauliflower, it gets nice and coated. Mm. 
Yo got any more cauliflower tacos? Buffalo cauliflower tacos coming your way. Oh yeah. Have a beer? Oh yeah, dude. I'm having a mango tahine goza. I think this is gonna go extremely well with buffalo cauliflower tacos. Thank you very much. Mm, garlic, 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 garlic. Thanks. We got a buffalo spice we can put in the cauliflower. Forgot yeah. about it. We get all of our spices from Savory Spice. If you're interested in this one, we'll have a link down below. Shopping on online through our link helps us out. No extra cost to you. Other than burning the taco shells, first round looks beautiful. TV time. Big. Plugging in. Done. Let's go ahead and ground it. I invite you to sit comfortably in a chair. Let's begin to observe the breath, becoming aware of the sensations as you breathe out. We woke up early so we could explore the beautiful Anza Borrega this week. I normally wake up before Dennis. I have a few things in the morning I like to do to just kind of set myself up for a successful day. I'm really big into setting goals and intentions and reflecting on the past year whenever a new year comes. And this year I'm keeping track of my goals in Notion. Notion is an online note-taking platform that does so much more than just note-taking alone. From planning trips, creating checklists, organizing things into to spreadsheets or Trello-like boards, journaling, meal planning, or tracking goals. I often find myself falling short on goals each new year, but this year I found a really awesome free Notion template from their templates library. Now I have a way to track my daily, monthly, and annual goals, and it intertwines with my Notion pages seamlessly. I first started using Notion in 2021. I heard about it from a creator here on YouTube, and I literally use Notion for everything. From planning my work week, communicating with my assistant, planning our blog posts and our YouTube content, organizing our shipments for any packages we're receiving and all of the projects we are doing on our new RV. I truly believe Notion has changed my life for the better. If you're looking for a way to get more organized this year, make sure to use the link in the video description below to try Notion for free. I promise you will love it. And a big thank you to Notion for sponsoring today's video. Here's to a happy, healthy, and organized 2023. I ventured out for the day. I'm going to be doing the hike that is next to the campground. It's about three miles round trip. Dennis has decided to stay back at the RV. He just needs some time to decompress. He's been really stressed working on all the different projects in the RV, which are still going on. <laughs> and so rather than going for a hike, he decided to spend some time on his own. I'm respecting that even though I would love for him to be here getting out in nature with me. It's important for us to each have our time alone. The landscape has completely changed from being a wide open field with just bushes, low lying cactus, to now being inside of this like craggy, striking mountain. There's so many different types of rocks and boulders and cacti. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm sad Dennis didn't come with me because I know he would have enjoyed this so much. I just got to a part of the trail where you can actually hear water trickling. The wash is filled with water because it's been raining for the past few days, which is super rare. But don't be surprised if you come here, if there's no water, it's probably that there hasn't been rain lately. The Anza Borrega Desert rivals Death Valley National Park in terms of heat and dryness. Over the last decade, the park has received under seven inches of rain on average each year, which makes a lush oasis like Palm Canyon so incredible. Whoa, I finally see the Palm Oasis and it is incredible. The Palm Canyon Oasis is the most popular hike in Anza Borrego State Park. Fed by an underground spring and rainwater flowing from the mountains, the oasis is a lush garden of wild native California fan palms. Oases like Palm Canyon were home to the many native tribes that lived here for thousands of years before colonization. The shade and abundance of water created ideal conditions for building a community. In January of 2020, a careless human started a fire in the mangrove of palms. The area underneath is still close to hikers as the topsoil recovers and the desert animals reclaim their homes in the shade of the canopy. This is a friendly reminder to leave no traces you explore and always be respectful and responsible when spending time in nature. For a place that supposedly doesn't get a lot of rain, 
It's raining a lot this week. Last night our adventures got cut short because it started raining on us. So we just had a chill day in the RV. Today we have a break in the rain. So we are going out and exploring. Our goal right now is to go to Fonts Point, which is this iconic spot that overlooks the Borrega Badlands. A lot of people only think of like South Dakota and North Dakota when it comes to Badlands, but there are actually Badlands here in California. The tricky part about this is though, it is a four by four only road to get out there. It's eight mile loop. And we've heard it can be tricky with lots of soft sand at divots and ruts. And uh, it's our first time going off road in the sand in our adventure bike. This is why we got it to be able to do things like this. So we'll see how this goes. I'm a little nervous. Dennis told me to wear my like protective jacket today. My motorcycle outfit that I like never wear. He's like, just in case, just in case. Oh. Or are we gonna fall? I'm not planning on it, but I can't guarantee it either. Let's do this. Anza Borrego is really popular in the springtime because they have fields and fields of wildflowers. But because we've been getting some rain over the past few days, the fields have some flowers in them and they're so beautiful. I'm so glad we got to see them. <laughs> We've made it. Sign up there already says soft sand ahead. <laughs> oh no. Here goes nothing. This is insane how much better it is than the X Max. Right now it's just a rutted road. So lots of bobbing, but I can barely feel it. That's a beautiful drive too. It's doing so good. We've had a few soft sand spots that have been sketchy. Good job. We made it. I feel like crying. I'm not gonna lie. I was so effing nervous. My stomach was just in knots the whole way. Dennis, you did so fantastic. Yeah, I'm stoked on that. Okay, let's go see. The suspense is killing me. Whoa, I've already started to see some. Holy moly. This is insane. I cannot believe this is California. What, what is this? There are three distinct Badland regions within the park. Fonts Point Vista overlooks the Borrego Badlands, a mind-bending landscape that seems more like Mars than Earth. The Badlands evolved from sediment deposited under an ancient lake bed withered away from wind and water erosion over millions of years. I can't believe more people don't come to this place, to this park. We asked so many people in San Diego, or mentioned that we were coming here and they were like, oh, I've never heard of it. Get here. On our way back to Dita, we stopped to see some of the Galleta Meadow sculptures. There are over 130 scattered around the area of Borrego Springs. Landowner Dennis Avery commissioned artist Ricardo Brissetta to create these larger than life works of art. Visitors can drive a 22 mile loop to see all 130 sculptures, which give life to the diverse animals that once roamed this land, and many that still do. One of Brissetta's most famous pieces is the serpent, a 350 foot long dragon swimming in the sands of the desert. This is crazy. We're literally standing in what's considered one of the most driest areas of the planet and yet we've had rain for three solid days and these beautiful rainbows are happening just outside the campground and they're mind blowing. This is seriously some of the most brilliant rainbows I've ever seen in my life. And I was just thinking to myself like how grateful I am to see it this way. We've run into people that have been talking about they've been coming here for 20 years and haven't seen anything like this before or haven't seen this much precipitation. So. Even though it could feel like kind of poo-poo because it's raining, it's a complete gift. If you do find yourself in Anza Borrega and it's raining and you don't feel like doing a hike, you can venture out to Agua Caliente County Park and they got some really rad indoor developed hot springs that we're gonna go soak in right now. If you're coming here in a big rig, we highly recommend researching your route to enter or exit the park. Specifically, Highway 78 has advisories for anything that is over 30 feet. We've seen several Class A's and few truck trailers. So I think it's doable, but 
Get ready for some white knuckle driving. Anza Borrego is a huge state park. It's over 600,000 acres. So if you're just here for a few days, I highly recommend sticking to one area and exploring that because it can take over an hour to drive from one end of the park to the other. We spent the first few days in the northern part of Anza Brega, and now we are heading about 45 minutes to an hour south to the Blairs Valley area, which has its own set of awesome hikes, great boondocking spots, and of course the hot springs. Two hours later. Soaking was lovely. We didn't get any footage inside there because there was actually a lot of people. It's just like an indoor pool, nothing fancy, but very relaxing. Only $3 to soak, by the way, for those that are curious. There's also a fantastic campground here. If you are looking for electricity or services, this is definitely the spot in this area. But now we're gonna shower and go find a boondocking spot somewhere outside of Blair Valley. Well, there's water there, so we cannot go any further. But that's all right, we got a lot of choices still. Now over here next to the rocks is really rad, but it's so unlevel. And it's getting dark, and I do not want to level in the rain in the dark. No. Our boondocking spot is beautiful. There's tons of campers here, and this campground goes forever. So if you're looking for some awesome free camping in this area, definitely can recommend this. It's also really nice because we are right next to a few trails that we plan to explore. So Dennis is getting down our KTM 390 so we can go adventure on the motorcycle. We're going to two trails today. The first is a Native American site where civilization used to live, and the other is a pictograph trail where you can see some of the artwork from the natives that lived here. Most of the road when you kind of get into the park is off-road only. So be prepared for that. Hopefully you have a vehicle for exploring. There's still so many things to do if you're just coming here in a normal RV or if you don't have that type of vehicle. Anza Borrego State Park is located on the ancestral homelands of the Kumeyaay and Kuwiya native peoples. The Kuwiya primarily lived in the north while the Kumeyaay resided in the southern parts of this region. The Morteros hike visits one of the villages of the Kumeyaay where hundreds of people once lived. It's rare to visit a place today and truly be surrounded by only nature, but given its remote location, visitors can get a glimpse into the unspoiled beauty that the Kumeyaay ancestors enjoyed. If you look closely at the boulders throughout the state park, you'll likely find morteros, Spanish for mortar. The women of the tribe use them to grind nuts, seeds, and berries, deepening the mortero over time. It is said that each family had their own grinding site passing it down through many generations. The direct physical connection to their ancestors through these morteros make them extremely sacred to the Kumeyaay peoples. It's amazing to think in a desert many would call uninhabitable, the ancestral peoples thrived and were intimately connected to the land. Knowing how each plant could help or hurt them, how to create shelters and use each plant and animal's gifts to create fiber for clothing and vivid shades of paint. Another one and a half miles down the trail, we find the pictograph trailhead. A one mile stroll down a sandy wash rewards us with a pictograph mural painted in a sheltered kitchen. It's believed that the red paint was primarily used by women and black paint by men. No one knows for certain what these messages say today. This is so rad. It's like stepping back in time into someone's house. You know what I mean? Everything's still here. Everything they need for surviving is still here. It's really cool on both of the hiking trails we've been on today, but we have been the only people. I think this spot kind of gets outshined by Joshua Tree because it has sort of the same vibe. So people are just like, let's just go there. Yeah. This is totally different and just as amazing as Joshua Tree. Like Another pin for our memories. If you're coming to Anza Borrego from San Diego or headed to San Diego as you're leaving, we highly recommend stopping in the town of Julian. They are famous for their pies. There's loads of orchards up here. They have berries, fresh grown apples. It's a super cute mountain town with lots of restaurants, cafes, of course, so many places for you to find delicious pies. But when we drove through, it was a zoo. So it's too much when you're passing through. Come to the town of Wainola. It's like a 10 minute drive just outside of Julian. They have a lot of the same shops and pie companies so you can still get your fresh baked pie. We ended up coming to California Mountain Bakery which was voted the number one pie in all of California in 2022. I think it's a new shop. It didn't have a ton of reviews but they had fresh buttermilk biscuits, 
They have loads of other baked goods. We ended up getting a slice of strawberry apple pie for us to try now. And we're also going to get an apple crumble pie to go so we can enjoy some later with our friends. Hopefully this video has given you a little inspiration to visit Anza Borrega in this area on your own. We just wanna say thanks for traveling with us. We'll see you next time. Did that really just happen? Was that your mouth?